Welcome back to part three of the D100 build. In today's video, we're gonna be removing the bed of the truck. And it should be quite interesting because I don't have any of the proper equipment or what you would normally need to do that. So we might have to make some holes in the ceiling, we might have to do a couple tricks, but I'm gonna get that thing off of there either way. With the tailgate now off, we can get a good look at the bumper. So this guy's pretty heavy and I wanna get it off of there. You can see we've got this thing made out of all of the steel. It is so thick. And then at the same time, we can go ahead and remove these rivets and see what these corners look like. So it looks like all that's holding the bumper would be this bolt right here. There should be another bolt right there, but there is definitely not. Oh, like a spare. We've got three bolts holding the bumper on. Oh, that one's on there. Beautiful. We got some wires. Should only be the wire for these two lights. Otherwise, everything else should be contained to the bed. worth of steel in this bumper I wasn't joking there is well over a hundred pounds of steel in this bumper Whew. with that bumper off we can see there is a little more rot on the bed this is more of that floor pan stuff <laughs> how did he connect it here what is this joint look at all the crud All right, the next thing we should do is probably rip out all the wiring for the bed and then remove the bed bolts. But before we do that, I have had these guys on my eye. I really wanna see what's under these corners cause it's not looking good if it's rusted out right here. So I'm gonna drill these out real quick. I mean, that explains it. There's definitely been a theme with the previous build so far. When in doubt, played it out. <laughs> Instead of dealing with the rust, they made a plate, they patched it over and they let it sit and then it rusted out even more and now it's way worse than what it would have been if they would have just left it to freak alone. These are the wires for our brake lights. We're gonna snip these long and they are color coded. Why do they go out and around? That is weird. What the hell? Well, you know what I didn't do? I didn't label the brake lights, but I think I can figure that one out. Now that we've got the wires safely removed, I'm gonna remove these plates. This one's got a lot of rivets. Let's pull this one. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, I don't know why that one was there. There wasn't even a hole there. Why did we do that? All right, the only thing left should be these bolts right here. We've got this guy, this guy, and a few more along the line on both sides. And we've got two options to take care of them. First, we're gonna try the way you should do it. And second, we're gonna try the way that's gonna work. So, follow me. 
If you've never worked with this style before, it's recessed into the sheet metal on the bed and it's got a square cutout. So square peg, square hole. And then you should technically be able to get in there and loosen up the nut that's on the back side of it. Technically, it shouldn't turn. I'm gonna go ahead and hook the ratchet up to the bottom side of that. <laughs> it doesn't even fit like that. Yeah, I'm not even gonna attempt to do that. We're cutting them. No. Nope, I can't even hit my hand in here to turn that freaking ratchet. Those four gone, we're looking good, but we've got, we've got a dilemma. There is no way I'm gonna get a grinder in there to be able to grind that down on either of those. So we're gonna give it a shot, but we're gonna go under and see if we can remove the nuts. If not, I'll have to get tricky with a sawzall. That's one way to do it. How about the other side? That one's already almost off for me. What are the chances it still snaps? What did I just take off? Are you kidding me? It was double nutted. <laughs> well that sucks. Just when you think you're ahead. Looks like we are free. We may look close to being done, but this is the tricky part. So now I have to somehow float this up in the air high enough that I can drive out with the tires. But if you can see, I've got nothing to lift the front of it up. And I can't prop it up like I am doing currently with that jack because the tire has to drive past it. Don't try this at home. Don't hang your truck bed from the garage door bolts. That's not a good idea. Don't do that. I did that. Don't do that. Now I gotta figure out what to do with this thing. This cart looks really nice. I might clean this off and that might be my dolly. I think that's what we're gonna do. Gotta figure out how to lower it. That'll be interesting. If we can figure out how to lower this thing gently, I think we can get it to sit on this pretty well. They both line up with a support. So if we can get it to sit on there, we'll be mobile. Down there. 
wasn't even that sketchy. I don't know what you're talking about. That was totally fine. Not only is it off the truck, but it's mobile. Yeah, buddy. All right, frame is not too bad. Not much metal damage, not much rust. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, that's good news. We've got a nice and straight frame. So we're gonna have to do quite a bit of cleaning, but not bad. That was pretty wild, <laughs> I gotta say. Probably not the best idea to hang it from the garage door, but I mean, it worked. And if you're wondering how I'm gonna get it back on there, you shouldn't be wondering that. It's one step at a time, guys. One step at a time and we'll slowly get it done. That was awesome. We'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out.